Our course description, as you know, our, our section is about health informatics. And uh, in this course, uh, the health informatics course will introduce the students to the concepts and foundations underlying current and future directions of health informatics practice. It provides the core competencies of health informaticians and their role in developing and implementing health information technologies. For example, the electronic health records, electronic medical records, and electronic health exchange, electronic information exchange. It also explores the current and new technologies in healthcare. and how health informatics intervention are evaluated. Moreover, this course provides an introduction to the general principles, concepts and techniques related to different types of health and medical information system and their uses for the different health purposes, including Clinical system and a clinical system and a clinical information system, pharmacy information system, and um, nursing information system, uh, laboratory systems, radiology information systems. And the students will obtain knowledge <coughs> of medical data in, compu in computerized form, such as electronic medical records, electronic health records. Okay. So the, the learning outcomes or learning objectives of our course. Um, at the successful completion of this course, the student should be able to apply basic theoretical concepts to approach health informatics practice, to demonstrate the development of independent learning skills, develop a fundamental knowledge of health informatics concepts and definitions, demonstrate an overall understanding of the rules and competencies of health informaticians, differentiate between the rules of health informaticians, describe and compare the subspecialties of health informatics, recognize the role of medical information system in healthcare sectors, understand different types of medical information system used in healthcare sector or setting, recognize medical data representation and how they affect m many medical information system principles, techniques and applications, overview on electronic health records implementation, explore and investigate current trends and emerging technologies in health informatics, Identify and discuss current and future challenges for health informaticians. And finally, describe methods and topics related to research evaluation in health informatics. Okay? The team move. Or teaching method of this course. This course, as you know, is taught four times a week. It's a Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Lecturing mood will be online. So well, these are some. These are the recommended textbooks for this for health informatics.
of this course. So it's analysis of electric health records, critical data, data, and healthcare information system, practical approach for healthcare management, second edition book for WAGA, and aspects of electronic health record system, second edition also for HAL. However, for each lectures, there is a references list that you can go through it uh, also and use it if you want. So now we are going to start our lecture. So the first lecture will be about introduction to health informatics. <coughs> The uh, learning objectives. So the learning objectives of our lecture today. Uh, uh, by the end of this lecture, the student should be able to understand uh, uh, the evolution of the field of health informatics uh, and uh, to provide an understanding of health informatics definitions. Uh, he uh, should also be able to define uh, information management, information system, and informatics, uh, and uh, to explain uh, the basic theoretical concept that uh, underlies uh, informatics practice, and uh, he'd be able to uh, identify the uh, domains of informatics uh, applications, <coughs> and. Uh, uh, finally, the student should be able to uh, identify how health informaticians process data uh, into information and knowledge uh, for healthcare tasks uh, with uh, a support of information technology uh, in order to improve uh, patient care uh, uh, and healthcare quality also. Enrico's view, a physiology literally means the logic of life, and pathology is the logic of disease, then medical informatics is the logic of healthcare. That's amazing. So the rational study of so it's the rational study of the way we think about patients, health informatics, is the rational study of the way we think about patients and the way that treatments are defined, selected, and evolved. Health informatics is the study of how medical knowledge is created, shaped, shared, and applied. So, in the past, we are going to talk now about healthcare delivery and healthcare setting in the past and healthcare uh, nowadays. So in the past, patients went to their doctors only when they were sick. Patients were not permitted to see their own records and most did not want to. Doctor thought patients were not able to understand their diseases or treatment which were often not revealed to the patient. Doctors made all the decisions, usually not sharing options of the treatment. So this is in the past. How about now? Let's see. Well, uh, now the focus is changing from uh, uh, illness care to wellness prevention and uh, pre-imperative uh, care. So, the pre-imperative care or uh, pre-imperative medicine is, uh, we can define it as a, um, a, a, a new concept in the medical field. Uh, that uses data, including genetic data and other physiological 
information as well as information about lifestyle in order to predict the risk of illness and complication uh, before it happens okay so it's uh, let's say it's proactive uh, approach uh, patient, the, the, the second, uh, so, so patient has access to record by law. Patient involved in a decision making about treatment. Uh, Dr. Google and internet source of knowledge. Uh, patient arrived at a doctor office with a stack of paper. Uh, from Dr. Google and internet uh, sources. Um, the TV commercial uh, suggests a drug and say, ask your provider encouraging consumerism. So personal health records are becoming uh, more common. Uh, okay. Uh, there's a, there are many reasons uh, uh, why is uh, the information technology in healthcare is a high priority? So, firstly, volume of data about patient has increased tremendously over the past decades, uh, increasing number of diagnostic tests, uh, increasing numbers and uh, modality of image, genetic test testing. Sorry. Access to data at place and time of decision making is critical. Uh, informed decision requires data. Uh, reusable data is a, is a must. Uh, and as a result of the large amount or large volume of data, uh, there is a need to, uh, of increasing the capacity of uh, information technology hardware uh, as we uh, know, we are now moving from the pies to kilopies to megapies to gigapies to terabytes to we don't know uh, what's the new measurement uh, in, in, uh, in consistent with uh, the, the, uh, the tremendous increasing of the uh, health uh, data and health information. Okay. Uh, the introduction uh, for health informatics. So, in order to introduce the health informatics, we are going to ask ourselves what's the significance or the importance of health informatics. So, as we know, healthcare has been constant topic of discussion in recent years. Uh, and uh, health informatics has played an important role in trying to ensure everyone is provided with the best possible quality of health care. A big step was taken uh, with the health care professionals, which requires them to integrate health care with information technology by using electronic health records and combined health care infrastructure. So health inform informatics uh, can be found in every area of healthcare, including uh, clinical, administrative, and uh, economic. Health informatic, informatics is, is significant for many reasons. Uh, we are going to brief these reasons in uh, four main uh, uh, domains. It's significance for patient knowledge, and for shared knowledge and better outcomes overall and uh, to decrease uh, uh, the cost of healthcare. So in terms of patient knowledge, uh, how health informatics is important in terms of patient knowledge? Uh, if you have ever left the doctor's office not knowing or forgetting a lot of what took place, you are not alone. Uh, uh, patients who have electronic access to their health records are aware of what was done as well as what prescriptions they may have to take. So this is, as a, uh, this is one of the consequences of uh, health informatics. Most of healthcare portals also offer patient support and various resources 
where the patient can learn more about uh, a healthy living. The patient can also communicate with their physician and nurse uh, through this portal. So patient access is also very important to family member because it provides the, the health information they want and that the patient may have forgotten. When patient can access his or her own health recommendations and history, the patient may be more inclined to take health issues more seriously uh, and he would be engaged in uh, his healthcare delivery. And this is one of the significance of health informatics in terms of patient knowledge. The second uh, uh, significance of uh, health info, uh, informatics is in, in, in shared knowledge. Uh, the old saying, knowledge is power, has never been truer than with electronic health records and health informatics. Uh, electronic health records allow the physicians to share their important patient information, uh, including illness, medications, therapies, diagnoses, tests, and any other uh, 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 information. Uh, being able to, to share this medical knowledge saves not just time, uh, by money as well. It also helps physicians provide uh, better care, quicker care, and spend more time with patients. So, uh, uh, health informatics allow important health information to be shared throughout the chain of care, from the patient right to the health uh, administra administrator and pharmacist, which is overall improve in healthcare delivery and patient safety. So other significance uh, of uh, health informatics is a better outcomes overall. Better overall outcome is probably the most important reason why health informatics is so important. Uh, electronic health records and doctors provide safer, cheaper, and higher quality care. Uh, because coordinated care teams all have access to the same information, they are able to work more efficiently make a better diagnosis and fewer errors. It also eliminates a lot of manual jobs, uh, which saves uh, an additional amount of time in clinics, hospital, and even for patients. So health informatics just provides a better overall outcomes for everyone involved in healthcare delivery. So the, the, the last significance of health informatics is decreasing in costs. One of the biggest complaints from patients and even healthcare providers is that healthcare is expensive and even wasteful at times. A lot of money is spent on uh, repeat procedures when multiple doctors are seeing a patient and are waiting and aware of procedures that have already been done. Some patients are unaware of what tests they are receiving or why. So they trust their doctors to make the right choices and do what they are asked. So uh, lab laboratory tests are also done repeatedly by multiple doctors. With electronic health records, with uh, health informatics and electronic health records uh, and a connected infrastructure, medical professionals can access the patient's medical records online and become instantly aware of what procedures that patient has been ha, ha, had done uh, as well as any comments or diagnosis that may have been made on the patient. This, uh, as a result, can save large amount of money for the patient uh, and improve healthcare quality. Uh, okay? Okay. We are going to know What's the informatics? Informatics is the application of information technologies to optimize the information management function within an organization. How does it differ from information technology, information system, and computer science? You will be able to answer 
at the end of the lecture or to differentiate at the end of the lecture okay health informatics should help healthcare professionals to provide better and more cost effective care and enable healthcare system to be more efficient and to adapt better to our patient needs health informatics may reshape the way we deliver care to meet the demands of the future so the history of health informatics so uh, how health informatics developed during the time okay as we know in health informatics is often referred to as a new discipline due to the due to increased attention in recent years uh, there has been an emphasis to promote the use of technology in healthcare and the meaningful use of information meaningful use of information is using systems with certified software to enhance the use of data contained in and obtained from health records so the goals for the use of this data are to improve quality safety and efficiency reduce health disparities improve the engagement of patients and families improve care coordination and support population and health care and health and public health sorry while maintaining privacy and security so the significant increase in awareness of the field of health informatics has led to the belief that it is a new field but the term health informatics was created many years ago so let's explore that <coughs> so references can be found in the literature in the early 1950s for topics such as the use of computers in the provision of healthcare, information processing and data management in medicine as well as the use of the use of the terms computer technology together with medicine and healthcare. As the capabilities of computer technology continue to evolve with more applications and opportunities for utilization to support the provision of healthcare, the need for a recognizable name for the new domain was desired but very difficult due to the diversity of science, technology, engineering, and health care that were the key components of the domain. There were early references to the term medical informatics documented in the early 1970s to cover both the information and data part as well as the controlling and automatic nature of, na of data processing itself. Uh, in the ensuing years, as additional working definition were considered, the terms that were consistently a part of the definition included computer science, information science, engineering, technology with, re with relation to the fields of health and medicine to include the practice, education, and research. Uh, <clears throat> the United States government was instrumental in supporting and developing the medical informatics movement through the initial funding for academic medical centers in medical informatics uh, in the 1960s. Uh, Computer-aided diagnosis, CAD, was a result of initial work to use computers and information science in the provision of care with a goal to improve the outcomes of practice of medicine. So, what is the CAD, Computer Aided Diagnosis, defined as? Okay, let's see the next slide. 
So computer aided diagnosis is defined as the, the incorporation of computer image with aspects of artificial intelligence to detect and identify potential disease factors. So disease information such as symptoms, duration, medical history, and diagnostic information from numerous cases is stored in the computer-aided uh, diagnosis system. And uh, 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 at any time when similar information is entered on a patient, it's compared to that which is in the system using computer algorithms. Following this processing, a list of probable diagnoses is generated for the physician to consider, which uh, 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 help the physician in uh, clinical decision making and uh, uh, totally improving the patient safety and healthcare delivery. So, uh, uh, as health informatives continued to develop, the need for standards became apparent. So, as you can imagine, uh, by applying information science to healthcare requires health informatics standards to define acceptable methods for collecting, organizing, maintaining, and exchanging data among, among health management information systems. So uh, the need for health informatics standards is to identify a method uh, that help in collecting, organizing, maintaining, and exchanging data uh, among health information different health information systems such as clinical information system, laboratory information systems, uh, pharmacy information systems, and other health uh, information systems. So these standards would be helpful and benefit in improving uh, patient uh, safety and uh, healthcare uh, delivery. So, definition of standards that would be appropriate for the discussion of the health informatics movements include such phrases as a scientifically based state, a scientifically based statement of expected behavior against which structure, processes, and outcomes can be measured, or a model or example established by authority, custom or general consent, or a rule established by an authority as um, a measure of quality, weight, extent, extent, value, or quality. But the need for models or examples and for the measurement of quality are vital for valid outcomes when health informatics is incorporated in the delivery of healthcare. So examples of such standards are the HL7, uh, Health Level 7, uh, that refers to a set of international standards for transfer of clinical and administrative data between software applications used by various healthcare providers. Uh, and the HIPAA acronym that stands for the Health Insurance Probability and Accountability Act, a United States law designed to provide the privacy uh, standards to protect patients' medical records and other health information provided to health plans, uh, doctors, hospital, and other health care providers. Uh, and the Lyons, Rx norm, uh, etc. Why health informatics emerge? Anyone can ask this question. Why health informatics emerge? While computers can easily be utilized in many industries to compile, manage, and utilize large quantities of information, application related to the provision of healthcare provide unique challenges. In the use of technology, much of healthcare is subjective and 
hard to define with terms such as pain, feeling, and description used to describe the condition, perception, sorry, used to describe the condition of the patient. This is coupled with the sheer amount of information generated for the individual and in aggregate for groups of patients which also present challenge to the system and those who work with it. Being proficient in computer science and information system is not adequate to design system that will enhance the delivery of healthcare, contribute to quality of care, and facilitate cost-effective means of delivery. One must also be familiar with how the delivery of healthcare is carried out. So the health informaticians should have two sides. He should be proficient in computer and a computer science and information system. Main time, he need to be familiar with how the delivery of healthcare is carried out. When considering the information generated in the provision of care, then the who, what, where, when, why, and how must be taken into consideration. Then, just as important but even more challenging to understand is where the information is needed and used, how it is transmitted, and the form and the format required for the transmissions while counting, while continuing to protect the confidentiality of the patient's information throughout the process. Technology professionals are knowledgeable in computer science and computer information system. Healthcare providers are knowledgeable in the aspect of care that they provide and are familiar with the health information that they use and generate. The various other providers and other staff members who use health information are familiar with the aspects of care they provide and the associated information and the use of technology in carrying out these functions. Health information management professionals are expert in understanding the regulation for patient records, recognizing who is reasonable, responsible for documenting in the records, and knowing the majority of the uses of the patient information since access is controlled and facilitated, facilitated through the health, uh, health Information Management Department. A health Informatics brings together all of these aspects to enhance patient care through the use of technology. The following statements summarize all that health information, uh, health informatics encompasses. The apparent information overload and imperfection of medical decision making motivate the use of information system for medical decision support. Health informatics provide tools to control process in healthcare, acquire medical knowledge, and communicate information between all people and organization involved with healthcare. Development of system often lags behind possibilities. Health informatics will provide. So why health informatics emerged? So health informatics will provide the tools to enable the production of the right information to the right people in the right format at the right time. Uh, the evolving science of health informatics will provide for the continued development of the supporting necessary systems. So concept definitions and drivers. 
Health care is preven prevention, treatment, and management of illness and the promotion of health and well-being through the services offered by the medical, nursing, and allied health professionals. According to the American Health Information Management Association, information management is the generation, collection, organization, validation, analysis, storage, and integration of data, as well as the dissemination, communication, presentation, utilization, transmission, and safeguarding of information. If the <coughs> so if the type of information were health, then health information management would entail acquisition, organization, storage, retrieval, and dissemination of health information from a multitude of places. The purpose is ensuring availability, accuracy, and the protection of health information that is needed by a variety of individuals in the delivery of healthcare services and to support decision making activities. Uh, an example of information management would be deploying a content or document manager management system. Uh, the, the, the next definition in the the next definition in the series of terms closely related to information management and informatics is information system or technology. Uh, the American Health Information Management Association defines information system as an automotive, automated system that use, uses computer hardware and software to record manipulate, store, recover, and disseminate data. That is a system that receives and processes input and provides output, or can use interchangeably with information technology. Uh, in a simple word or other word, information system is any combination of information technology and people's activities. Using that technology support operation, operations, management, and decision-making. In a broad sense, it refers to the interaction between people, uh, algorithmic processes, data technology. In a narrow sense, it refers to the specific application software that is used to store data reports in a computer system and automat automated activities. Uh, when you think or anyone thinks of information technology, uh, the things that uh, should come uh, to our mind are computer networks, uh, database and system administration, uh, security and programming. Uh, therefore, information technology could be used in the management of information. Connecting information technology to help Consider the following definition by the Office of the National Coordinator for Health Information. So, health information technology, the application of information processing involving both computer hardware and software that deals with the storage, retrieval, sharing, and use of healthcare information, data, and knowledge for communication and decision making. An example uh, of health information technology would be uh, administrative, administrative and financial system that facilitates billing, accounting, and other administrative tasks. <clears throat> the final definition in this information series comes from authors 
uh, Elmer Penstam, Jack Smith, and Todd Johnson in their article, What is Biomedical Informatics? Based on their research, they determined that data, information, and knowledge were central to informatics. Their literature review and subsequent analysis conclude in the following definition of informatics. Informatics is the science of information where information is defined as data with meaning. Thus, the similarity between all three terms is that all involve information in some way. However, there is a critical difference between information management, information technology, and informatics is in the object of study, where information management focuses on organization and dissemination of information, while information technology focus on the tools and, and, and machines and informatics focus on the optimal use of meaningful data. In order to gain a better understanding of informatics, one needs to learn the differences between data, so data, information, knowledge and wisdom. Uh, as explained previously, uh, the research that was performed by Penstam Smith Johnson 2009 showed that data information and knowledge were uh, central to informatics. Okay. So uh, in, in, in their article, they referenced across data information, knowledge, and wisdom uh, hierarchy uh, <coughs> so, uh, uh, so Jennifer Rowley explored further the data, information, knowledge, and wisdom hierarchy uh, Rowley, st Rowley states uh, that the hierarchy is used to contextualize data, information, knowledge, and sometimes uh, wisdom with respect to one another and to identify and describe the process involved in the transformation of an entity at lower level in the hierarchy to an entity at higher level in the hierarchy. Uh, so the, the, the implicit assumption is that data can be used to create information. Information can be used to create knowledge. And uh, finally, knowledge can be used to create wisdom. Okay. So, uh, data, unorganized and unprocessed facts, static, uh, a set of discrete facts about events. So, uh, uh, there is no meaning attached to it as a result of which it may have multiple meanings. Uh, an example uh, on, on uh, a meaningless of data is, what does Alex mean? Uh, 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 the information uh, is, uh, is aggregation of data that make decision making easier. So, the the meaning is attached and uh, contextualized uh, and the information usually answers the question of what, who, when and uh, where. Knowledge includes facts about real world, entities and the relationship between them. It's an understanding gained through experience and the knowledge answered the who question, uh, the how question. Wisdom are embodies principles, insight, and morale by integrating knowledge. Knowledge answered why questions. In different words, 
data are simple symbols, isolated facts, and measurements. So when, when, when such data are processed, put into a context and combined within a structure, the information will be emerged. And what the information did, information did, information provides the answer to who, what, when, and where questions. When information is giving meaning by interpreting it, that is, there is an application of data. Information will become knowledge. The knowledge answer the how questions. Finally, wisdom is evaluated, understanding, and answer the why question. Okay? Okay. So, uh, central to informatics uh, is the processing of data so it becomes meaningful. So, as we, we, we mentioned previously, this figure uh, represents what uh, uh, Rowley states. Uh, so, uh, uh, what he stated is uh, uh, the hierarchy is used to contextualize data, information, knowledge, and sometimes wisdom uh, with respect to one another and to identify and describe the process involved in that transformation of an entity at lower level in the hierarchy, which is data okay, here, to an entity at the higher level in hierarchy, which is, for example, uh, information and knowledge and wisdom too. So uh, the, the, uh, the implicit assumption is that uh, data can be used to create information, and information can be used to create knowledge and knowledge can be used to create uh, wisdom. <coughs> so, building on what has been learned so far, Dr. Friedman's proposed fundamental theorem of informatics will be reviewed in the next slides. So, the definition of what is the definition of theorem? Merriam-Webster's online dictionary defines a theorem as uh, an idea accepted or proposed as a demonstrable truth, often as a part of a general theory. Okay. Um, <coughs> Dr. Friedman utilized the figure in this slide. To represent the theorem. The picture is that of parentheses, picture of a head of a person, a plus sign, picture of a computer, parentheses, greater than symbol, picture of a head of a person. According to Dr. Friedman, this figure is to be interpreted to mean a person working in a part partnership with an information resource is better than the same person unassisted. So as we can see in the figure, a person who working in a partnership with information resources is better than a person same person unassisted. He further explains the metaphoric person depicted in the theorem can be a clinician, a scientist, a student, a patient, or an, administration, an administrator. The person can also be a team or group or even an organization. The information resource is any mechanism capable of providing information or knowledge or device to support the person completion of tasks. Information resources are usually, but do not have to be, computer-based. The plus 
in the figure is intended to convey interaction between the person and the resource, the outcome of which is determined by what the information resource is capable of, as well as how the person elects to use it. The plus symbol is employed because of its universal recognition, but it is not to be read literally in the sense of mathematical addition. The parentheses further connote a bonding between the person and resource and suggest that the personal resource interaction is shaped by its environment or organizational context. Okay. <clears throat> Better and the greater than inequality are used loosely by intention so as not to convey specific requirements for the testing the theorem. Okay? Okay. Quiz informatics. Science applied. As one would expect, there is not just one segment or domain for informatics. Any domains where there is a need for analysis of, da of data and dissemination of information through the use of computer application is possible application domain. These include wide range uh, as one would expect, uh, there is uh, not just one segment or domain for informatics. So, any domain where there is a need for analysis of data and dissemination of information through the use of computer application is uh, a possible application domain. Uh, of using informatic science or applying informatic science. <coughs> uh, some examples of a wide range of industries, including uh, uh, the, the entertainment, uh, hotel management, law and law enforcement, healthcare. Uh, and other fields where computer technology interfaces with people. As uh, uh, the focus of this course, informatics and its application to healthcare, uh, it will be explored further in the next slides. What is health informatics? As we know, every developed nation is facing serious difficulties in the delivery of healthcare to its people or citizens. The causes are universal. For example, such as the rise in the proportion of elderly people requiring care. And the elderly people, as you know, always have chronic diseases and complication or complicated conditions which increase uh, their need of health care and increasing the cost of medical uh, technology, patient expectation of services and equality, and economic and social change that reduce the state's ability to fund health care while increasing its involvement. All of these factors drive up cost and reduce equity of access. Increasingly, governments and managers are addressing these problems by seeking to make healthcare more cost effective. How? By information. Information is a vital element in this drive for efficiency and effectiveness, and the key challenge and opportunity for policymakers and healthcare professionals 
is to harness information to balance demand and costs. Health informatics, the systematic application of information management and technology to the planning and delivery of high quality and cost effective healthcare, is seen as a powerful tool in this process. So, health informatics is an emerging discipline with no firm boundaries, but the information processes and types is intrinsic to healthcare defined its scope. There are various perspectives of informatics and its application to healthcare. Following slides are some definitions have been chosen for review and discussion because of their significance within the field of health informatics. The first definition comes from the American Medical Informatics Association. Perspectives is the informatics community typically uses the term health informatics to refer to applied research and practice of informatics across the clinical and public health domain. While the American Health Information Management Association defines healthcare informatics as the interdisciplinary field that studies and persuades the effective uses of health data, information, and knowledge for scientific inquiry, problem solving, and decision making, motivated by efforts to improve human health. Informatics is focused on how information technology is applied to the continuum of healthcare delivery in order to produce data, information, and knowledge to support healthcare and public health uh, practices. It is an integrated, integrated discipline with specialty domains that include clinical and health science informatics, public health and nursing, research and population health, and others. Health informatics programs offer varied options for practices or research focus. So, as defined by the United States National Library of Medicine, uh, health informatics is the interdisciplinary study of the, of the design, development, adoption, and application of information technology based, based uh, innovations in healthcare services delivery, management, and uh, planning. So, uh, according to the Health Informatics Society of Australia, defines health informatics as the science and practice around information in health that leads to informed and assisted health care. Informed here means that the right information about the subject who could be consumer, patient, or population together with relevant health knowledge is available at the right time in a form that allows it to be used. While assisted here means that the job of the healthcare worker is made safer and easier and that the health consumer is supported in their decision and action. In simple words, health inform informatics professional design and develop information systems and process that improve the quality, effectiveness, and efficiency of care, and also assess emerging technology for healthcare applications. Health informatics is often Described as intersection of computers, the computer science, information science, and healthcare, meaning that health informatics professionals work with both 
the processes and the tools used to record, store, and analyze healthcare information. They have deep understanding. Health informatics professionals have a deep understanding of data, particularly in electronic health records, and how it can be used to support decision and protocols. They often interact directly with clinical staff and patients in order to evaluate the impact of information technology on clinical processes, outcomes, and resources. Fine. Fine. Okay. Now we are going to talk about the informative drivers and trends in healthcare. Um, Formatics drivers and trends in healthcare, laws and regulations are a driving force in healthcare, which is fueling the need for informatics applications. In addition, funding is expected to assist providers and states in adopting and utilizing health informatic technology in order to achieve widespread adoption of healthcare informatic technology and enable electronic exchange of health information. Okay? Okay. Informatics drivers and trends in the healthcare. Moreover, trends which are stimulating the need for health informatics application include uh, a focus on uh, electronic health, the adoption and implementation of electronic medical records, or EMRs as abbreviation, uh, and electronic health records, or EHRs as abbreviation, which you are going to be familiar with these abbreviations in the, in the coming uh, lectures and slides, and the growing desire to be able to electron uh, to, to be able uh, to be able to electronically exchange health information ac across organization within a region, community, or hospital system. The application of information technology to healthcare is a critical tool in achieving the benefits of e-health in electronic medical records, electronic health records, and health information exchange. As you will learn later in this course, practitioners of informatics, known as informaticians, use information technology to advanced cost-effective care, high-quality care, and patient safety. But first, let's review the connection informatics has to e-health electronic medical records, electronic health records, and health information. So the first review will be about the electronic health. A general direction with regards to health informatic technology relates to the global environment. The World Health Organization, who a United Nations agency responsible for directing and coordinating international health activities recognized a trend involving the use of information and communication technology and its impact on uh, health care delivery, public health, research, and health-related activities. With this recognition, World Health Organization set about defining 
e-health and developing a World Health Organization e-health strategy to help direct World Health Organization's activities on electronic health. As defined by the World Health Organization, e-health is the use of information and communication technology technologies for health to, for example, treat patients, pursue research, educate students, track disease, and monitor public health. Um, according to the Healthcare Information and Management Systems Society definition, e-health, electronic health, is defined as <coughs> sorry, the application of internet and other related technologies in the healthcare industry to improve the access, efficiency, effectiveness, and the quality of clinical and business process utilized by healthcare organizations, practitioners, patients, and consumers to improve the healthcare status of patients. Okay? Okay. As far back as 2005, a total of 51 unique definitions for e-health, electronic health, were identified in a systematic review of published definition uh, of this term. At that time and today, the most cited definition was Eisenbach definition. Electronic health is an emerging field in the intersection of medical informatics public health and businesses and business referring to health services and information delivered or enhanced through the internet and related technologies in a broader sense the term characterizes not only a technical development but also a state of mind a way of thinking and attitudes and a commitment for networked global thinking to improve healthcare locally, regionally, and worldwide by using information and communication technology. Thus, there is a very close connection between electronic health and informatics as it is the combined use of electronic communication and information technology in the health segment. Some in the industry see e-health as a subdiscipline of health informatics. Certainly, the application of information and communication technology to healthcare is a critical tool in achieving the benefits of electronic health, such as improving healthcare delivery and patient safety. An example of electronic health is telemedicine, which is delivery of healthcare at a distance most often via the internet. Okay. Uh, the electronic medical records. Another trend of health informatics technology which is impacting the field of health informatics is the adoption of electronic medical records or EMRs as a population and common known. And electronic health records or electronic uh, EHRs, this application could be thought of as centerpieces of health information.
Okay. Uh, so uh, electronic medical records, uh, the EMR, uh, according to the report defining key health information technology terms, uh, uh, defines an electronic medical records as uh, an uh, electronic record of health related information uh, on an individual uh, that can be uh, created, gathered, managed, and consulted by authorized clinicians and staff within one healthcare uh, organization. <clears throat> electronic, an electronic medical record is a record of medical care created managed and maintained by one health care organization electronic medical records being an electronic equivalent of individual legal medical records for use by providers and staff within one health care organization are part of the health information technology infrastructure and have a direct tie to health informatics okay Uh, among the most significant barriers to adopt electronic medical records are high capital cost and insufficient return on investment for small practices and safety net providers, underestimation of the organizational capabilities and change management required, failure to redesign clinical process and workflow incorporate with the, the technology systems. Concern that systems will be uh, concerns that systems will become obsolete. Lack of skilled resources for implementation and support. Concern that current market systems are potentially not meeting the needs for rural health centers or federally qualified health centers. Concerns regarding concern regarding negative unintended consequences of technologies of technology sorry okay recognizing the rule that electronic medical records can play in transforming healthcare in 2003 the institute of medicine issued a group of eight key function for safety, quality, and care efficiency that uh, electronic medical records should support. First one is physician access, the, the electronic medical record should support the physician access to patient information, such as diagnosis, allergies, the lab results, and medications. Access to access to new and past test results among providers in multiple care settings, computerized provider order entry, um, the, compute, uh, the, the uh, electronic medical record should support computerized decision support system to prevent drug interactions and improve compliance with best practices. Um, it also should uh, support secure electronic communication among providers and patients. And it should also provide support uh, in patient access to health records, disease management tools, and health information resources. Uh, it should support computerized administration process, processes such as scheduling systems and finally electronic medical records should support standards based electronic data storage and reporting for patient safety and disease surveillance uh, effort
Um, electronic medical record system systems also have the potential to provide substantial benefits to physicians, clinic practices, and healthcare organizations. Um, these systems can facilitate workflow and improve the quality of patient care and uh, patient safety. <clears throat> well, thank you for your listening. Uh, this is the end of our lecture today. I hope you find it nice, simple and interesting uh, and useful too. Uh, the next lecture, uh, in the next lecture we are going to continue the rest of informative trends and we are going to explore uh, new topics uh, which is about the rules of health informaticians. Um, thank you again for your listening and uh, bye for now.